Hi, I'm George Jelinek. I'm a professor in emergency medicine in Australia. More importantly, for those of you with MS, I was diagnosed with MS in 1999. My background in academic medicine, in research uh, and in looking at evidence, gave me a very unique advantage in looking at the literature about MS when I was diagnosed. And very shortly after diagnosis, I came up with a program designed to keep me well. And over the years, I've refined that in an effort to keep other people well who have MS. This program is relatively simple, in fact. It's based on lifestyle factors that we have a, a reasonable basis for believing are responsible for the progression of MS once diagnosed. So this approach really falls into the category of preventive medicine, particularly secondary and tertiary prevention. It's a very mainstream medical approach. We apply it to many other diseases, for instance, cardiovascular disease, stroke, and so forth. The medical profession quite rightly demands good quality evidence behind any recommendations it makes in terms of what risk factors to modify to affect the progression of illness. In the case of MS, we have some good data on vitamin D, sun exposure, smoking, and a number of factors that we don't have any say over, such as glandular fever. There is every reason to believe there are a number of other factors involved, uh, particularly those involved in diet, but also exercise, stress, and several other factors. On this page, you'll see the possibility for you to make a donation to Overcoming Multiple Sclerosis, or OMS, which is the organisation I set up following diagnosis. The money that is donated to that cause will enable us and other researchers like us to do further research, developing a really sound evidence base for the interventions that we are describing on our website, overcomingms.org. I'd encourage you to consider donating to this cause. Not only will it enable us to do further research about the evidence base behind our program, but it will enable us to deliver our programs more widely in the form of retreats and events, trying to get to an audience of people with MS, to give them some realistic hope that actually it's possible not only to stay well after a diagnosis of MS, but to actually stabilise the illness for those who are a little more disabled or even markedly disabled and have some chance at recovery. So thanks again, and I hope you'll consider donating to OMS. Be well and bye for now.